Hi, welcome back to LGS Microscopes. My name is Paul and today we're going to talk about parallax. What is parallax? How can we use it to our advantage? When can it work against us? We're going to get into all of that and I hope it will help you out. The reason why we can perceive depth at all is because of parallax. The way that our brains perceive distance, and therefore also size, is the angle at which each of our eyes is pointing inward at that object. If we have an object that's far away, our eyes don't have to point in towards each other very much in order to both focus on the same object. If there's an object that's up close, our eyes have to look much closer together in order to see the same spot on that object right in front of us. It's the same principle as when you were a little kid and you were learning how to cross your eyes. If I put this pen up far away and I look at it, it's a different angle and as I pull it closer, my eyes get closer and closer and closer together and you can see the angle changes. And that's parallax. The same principle applies with a stereo microscope. You're using two separate light paths that converge on a certain point and that's where your object needs to be. This is your focal point. A microscope isn't able to change the angle that it's looking at something so the distance is always fixed. In order to illustrate how parallax works we're going to be taking a look at this part today. This is just the end of a power cord. You'll see these on a lot of household items and you can tell that there's a shaft that runs down there. We're going to try to see down there. We're going to use a stereo microscope and we'll see how that goes. First let's look at this part with it pointing straight up and down like you might figure you're supposed to look at it. This is what we see through the right eyepiece. It appears that the part is tilted. We already know it's straight up and down. In reality the angle that we're viewing from is slightly off. The same is true if we look through the left eyepiece. Although it looks like the part is tilted, it's actually the angle of our left light path that's tilted. Because we're looking at it from two separate angles, we get a slightly different picture. When this happens, it can be a little bit frustrating because your brain is trying to take two separate images of the same thing and stack them on top of each other and make sense of it. But when both eyes are looking at slightly different things, your brain's not really sure what to do with it. If we tilt the part to the right so that it's lined up with the light path that's going to our right eyepiece, suddenly we can see straight down the tube. If we adjust the focus slowly, we can see our focal point move from the top of the tube all the way down to that connector in the bottom. The same is true if we tilt the part to the left slightly. From our left eyepiece, it appears that the part is straight up and down, and we can see straight down to the bottom. And again, if we slowly move the focus, we can see our focal point move from the top of the tube all the way to the connection at the bottom. Now usually parallax is our best friend. It's what gives us depth perception or 3D. That's why when you go see a 3D movie you have to put on special glasses that show you a slightly different angle of the things on the screen. The same is true with microscopes. With a stereo microscope the huge advantage is that you can see three-dimensional objects and you can perceive the depth and the crevices and all of the features that it has. It's a little bit difficult to show you the 3D perception that you get with a stereo microscope because we're using a single camera that can only look through one eye tube at a time, unlike your eyeballs which can see both at the same time. That was using a stereo microscope, which as you could probably tell was not the best application for looking at this kind of part. Next we're going to look at a system that uses a single lens and a single axis that will look straight down the barrel of our part. Now this system is a little bit different. It's just a camera with a lens on it pointing at our subject. As you can see our part is still straight up and down, so let's take a look. As you can see, it looks like we're looking straight down the part, which we are. There's only a single axis, so we don't have 3D perception, but in this scenario it's actually helpful because we can see straight down the barrel. If we slowly adjust the focus again, we can change our focal point from the top of the tube all the way down to the bottom, and you can see that connector down there as well. These are just two imaging techniques that we've looked at today, and there are many, many more out there. As you can probably tell, it's important to use the right tools to get the right results. If you ever have any questions about what equipment you might need to use in order to best image your subjects, you can always email us at info at lgsmicroscopes.com or call us at 623-240-2232. I hope this video has been really helpful for you. Thanks, have a great day.